Tyler Fever, the starting goaltender for the Fury in this one, and Kevin Entma at the other end for the Aurora Tigers. 25 seconds into the game, the ice is still wet. Henry Thompson on the doorstep. He'll score, and it's one to nothing for Whitby. Tigers killing the penalty. Spence from McCormick to Sam Gray. He's going to pop the water bottle. Nice goal. Dream start. It's 2-0 for the Fury, and this one's only four and a half minutes old. Not much right going for the Tigers in the first period. Dylan Wallace and Justin Nice colliding. Things would look up late, though. Matt Andrichia on a power play. He scores. Two goals for Andrichia on the season, both against Whitby. One while playing for Trenton, and now this one on the afternoon for the Aurora Tigers. Let's go to the second period now, and the visitors shorthanded, but they break in 2-1-0. Captain Chris diving to break it up. The Fury lucky to still have a slim lead, and Aurora not happy that this one didn't count as the puck went in after the net came off. Tyler Fever showing his good stuff here to deny Andrea Treya a second one on the afternoon. Tigers keep pressing and the rewarded here on the power play. Corey Kennedy, that's his first of the season. This game is knotted up at two a piece. Whitby looking to get that one back. It's Ragaseo on a rush inside, outside, but the go ahead goal is just high. Third period, Sam Gray gets his second of the afternoon, but this one he gets a bit of a help thanks to the redirect here from Kyle Liu. But that's his seventh of the season, and it's three to two for Whitby. But just over two and a half minutes later, we're tied again. Robert Angliola is going to get credit for the three all goal, but once again, should this one have counted, we take another look at it, and perhaps there's a kicking motion here. It's a judgment call, but what the referees think really matters, so that makes it 3-3. Into overtime, Sam Gray for the chance to win, and the hat trick <laughs> off the crossbar. Bad luck. For the second week in a row, the Fury go to a shootout, and they come up short. Despite not getting the two points, they earn points in five straight games, including three in that stretch. The next one, not so easy. They're off to Trenton Friday night to take on the Golden Hawks.